I don't know what's going to happen with the Varela project. I think it would be very good if your officials would decide to publish the entire document. Let there be a free and open debate in Cuba. Esta es una edición especial de Antena Live a propósito de la noticia que ha consternado a los cubanos en todo el mundo. Ha muerto el opositor pacífico cubano Osvaldo Payá Sardiñas. From the moment we learned he was in a car crash, radio and TV Martí went live with coverage. Efectivamente, bueno, pues nos encontramos en esta transmisión especial. As information trickled in, we covered it. As soon as his death was confirmed, we interrupted programming and went live with a one-hour special report, followed by two specials in the days and weeks to come. La vida el 22 de julio de... Friends overheard the police in the hospital mention another car. The family also said that Oswaldo Payá was targeted in a similar incident two weeks earlier in Havana. On June 25th, Oswaldo had a previous accident. We didn't make it public as to not amplify the terror. His life was always threatened. And the car lost control, skidded, and hit a tree. Our stories on Payaja continue to appear on other media outlets. This story isn't going away anytime soon. We own the story and we will continue to cover it. We haven't seen the final chapter on Payá yet. 50 pro-democracy activists were arrested and detained at the funeral of Oswaldo Payá.